Hello everyone, welcome back to more Let's Play Zack and Wiki Quest for Barbarossa's Treasure. Uh, last time we finished off the intro chapter thing or whatever, now we're going to talk to some of these people. So let's see, who's around here? Talk to this guy first. I heard something good you'll want to know. This is Dimmy. He has a lot of useful info to give, but some of it should be taken with a grain of salt. Yeah, I don't really know what his purpose is. This little guy always has his ears perked up for rumors. If you want some good info, you should check with him from time to time. So, so let's talk to him again, see what he has to say. There are some scary spooks guarding treasure chests. Ring the bell to scare them off good. So yeah, he just gives you tips, I guess. Next would be this person. Oh, this person. Seek the oracle when you need help the most. Just remember that even an oracle has bills to pay, so be generous with any offerings. <laughs> this is Granny. She runs the hideout store. Granny appears outgoing, but she can have a stingy side. Granny has a very useful purpose if you aren't very good at pu you know, puzzle games and whatnot. If you're just stuck or you die and you don't want to redo an entire chapter over again. Um, or part, I don't know. Whatever. You can buy different things from Greeny. I'm sure some of them will come in handy. Welcome. Hope you brought your wallet. So you, so you could buy an Oracle doll, or you could buy a platinum ticket. Um, let's go over what each one are. An Oracle doll, eh? For you, 500. Oh, we don't have enough Z to buy them, so. Uh, she can't show us, Whoa. but, um, will she show us if we just go back? Now hold on there, Sonny. Don't be in such a rush. Do you know how to use the Oracle Dolls? Press the one button if you get into trouble. <laughs> we have three Platinum tickets to start off with, if you didn't know. Go on, try it out. This one's on the house. Press the one button. So when you press one, they start praying, and Granny comes down on some strings. I'm the great and all-knowing oracle. Seek my counsel when thou hast lost thy way. <laughs> Time hath come to make an offering of the oracle doll. But I want to keep it! I want to keep this one just in case I actually need it. Well, offer it! No! Offer it! No, offer it! Fine. Here you go. A deal hath been sealed. Press the one button when counsel is sought. The path shall be made clear so long as offering is made. Oracle Dolls may be obtained from the wonderfully charming store owner. Yeah, basically Oracle Dolls will give you hints on how to solve given any given puzzle. I get the feeling the Oracle won't be showing up in the hideout again. Kikiki. Um, that's it. Platinum tickets bring you back from the dead if you die. And yes, you can die a lot in this game. In very kind of humorous ways. This is where the legendary pirate parts are kept. You can look at the parts or talk to the legend himself here. Yep, here is basically where you can... Oh wait, I wish I could join you for some sweet swass buckling and treasure hunting, but this cursed body gets in the way. Yep, this is basically where you can track your progress through the game, because at the end of each chapter or whatever, you'll get a piece of his body. So yeah, you can come in here, and as we get more pieces, you can examine their parts. You'll see once we get more pieces. But yeah. Pirate's life is spent in pursuit of treasure, especially coins. Never forget that, kid. Yeah, we'll see that as we go on. Only 16 parts remain until all our dreams come true. Bring back as many as you can. Alright. Let's talk to this person up here. Hi. Hey, man. Confused on how to use the Wii Remote? I can totally teach you. Well, maybe later when I'm not so busy I can. Works a drag. This is Lofri, our cabin boy for the sea rabbits. He tends to goof off without constant supervision. Basically, you come to him if you want help on how to use certain items with the Wii Remote. You can practice using items you've run across before. So, like, we've come across using, like, the saw before, so just click him and it'll show you how to use it. Hold the Wii Remote straight out and pull it back and forth to cut. Yep. So, yeah. And then you also can look at that. Despite the name, this umbrella is really groovy. It opens with the press of the two button. Okay. Get to the big guy in a bit. Let's go over here to these, this bookshelf. 
Here's where you can file away info and all the enemies and items you've run across. Yep, so get like... So start from left to right, here's a book on... On itemizable enemies, not itemizable enemies, and main characters. Let's see, next up is a book on the treasure, I believe? Yep. Enemy items, items, mysterious treasure, treasure maps. See, next up, bunch of stuff we have no use for yet. We can't even see what these are yet. This is music, it looks like. Yep, music and sound effects. You just listen to that if you're really into the music of the game. I'm guessing this is artwork. People, places. Yeah. And this. What the hell is this? Speech? I'm guessing. Rumors. Journey advice and pirate news. What's in the pirate news? Nothing, of course. About well, journey advice. About coins. I don't need advice on coins. Because coins are used for one spot, one spot only. And that's only if you're really bad at the game or need help. And then we got this guy we already met. Yo, Zach, glad to see you in one piece. You can check your pirate's log by talking to Johnny. Yep, this is where you can see all your progress at the game and how long you've been playing it. So far, we've been playing this game for about 31 minutes. So, yeah. And all this other cool stuff. Alright, last but not least, the big guy himself. This is the main part where you always want to come to when you're here. That's the boss of us sea rabbits. He used to be an amazing pirate, supposedly. This is Captain Hulk, the leader at the sea rabbits and a big man. He is steadfast and not easily rattled. Before you go out on any grand treasure hunting adventures, be sure to check with the boss first to let him know where you're going. Alright, so now that I've got the introductions for those guys all over... Okay. We, as you can see, we cleared this area back here. Now we're going to this new area, Pit of Tragedy. So, let's go. Also, as you saw, the middle center there was still covered by a ghost thing, and so we still have to clear more areas around this. Alright, the Pit of Tragedy. We can already see the treasure chest, now we just gotta figure out how to get to it. Seems to be a door block in our path. Okay, start off by shaking this tree. Maybe. See if I can shake it for anything good. Nope, just a coin. Okay. Let's head up here. Let's see. Having gotten to at least that first center section, I have a good. I have at least have a somewhat decent memory of how to do some of these. Um, if I remember correctly, if you want more coins, I don't feel like I'll be needing them. But, uh, yeah, so first we go here. Ah, snake! Then we shake it, shake, shake, shake. And the snake turns into one of these things. The Slither Grappler. Grappler, something. Ah, uh, man, I wish I had one of these things growing up. Never did. These things were awesome, though. Basically, go up here. So you see something up there, so let's grab it. Pull it out, and grab, and pull, pull. Yeah, got it. Nice one, boss. Now we can only hold one item at a time, so we'll take the ruins key. And this place is almost finished. Just set this in here. And turn it. Nice one, boss. Now, if I remember correctly, we're gonna need to go back up and grab the Slither Grippler. If you don't want to fall for a trap that'll kill you. This area is pretty short, so this video may not so this may fit into just one video, I don't know. Oh. Hey. Yo, Zach, Wiki! Mm -hmm. What's shaking? Yeah. The treasure lies before you, but don't let your guards mm -hmm. down. One false move can end it all. 
Press the B to look mm -hmm. around. Think carefully about your next step, or it might be your last. I'll give you a shout later. Basically what he means is... Yeah, if you can see, there's a bunch of spikes down there. If you step on this here center spot, it'll set off all the spikes. So to avoid that, we want to grab this thing. Like the Slither Grappler. Oh, and there we go. Look at all that rubble falling down. Nice one, boss! Alright, now we can just go straight to the treasure. And ring this, I'm not close enough. Ring, 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 ring. Alright, now let's just open the treasure chest and we are done with this chapter. Whew, stage cleared. We got the Ellen Bracelet. Ooh, it's a lot shinier than I remember it. Hurry up and put me back together. Yep, at the end of each chap or at the end of each stage, you'll see exactly where the piece goes. Right now I've got two parts. Not bad, not bad at all. Keep up the good work. Let's see here. Alright, got two items. Didn't use any Oracle Dolls or Platinum Tickets. Incredible! Alright, that was a pretty short one. But still long enough for, to make an episode out of. So yeah. Um, next time we'll go on to the next area. So I'll see you then. Bye bye!